Hello, I'm Don Brandt, and today we're going to build a precision oscillating steam engine. This is part two of a six part series. Now let's go ahead and see it in action. It's up to about eight or nine psi. And there's the steam engine. That's a completed one. Okay, so what I have here is a brass flywheel that I cast myself. And uh, this one is serialized here as number one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and drill that out for a quarter inch shaft. Uh, we're going to use a lathe here. So I'm going to see if I can get this thing uh, tested you know, here. straight. Make sure that it's straight. I'm going to call that good. Let's give it a little bit of tighten up. This steam engine will be for sale on eBay and look for a link in the details section of this video. And back to the 1564s. Here we'll be using the 2505 reamer to finish the hole for the crankshaft. You're loose. There we go. Quarter inch hole, number one flywheel. I'm just going to test fit this guy. Okay, so let's head on over to the mill to drill a hole for 832nd set screw. I'm going to start by putting a flat boss here on the hub. There we go again, just the tip. Uh huh. Okay, so now I just got the hole started, and yeah, I am just holding that in my hand. It's raced in there at any angle, so don't try this at home. This is why I got band-aids and stuff all over my fingers. Okay, the 29 drill for the 832 um, set screw. Run the reamer through the center, you can see the chips in there little chips of a metal and then uh, we're gonna tap that 8 832 okay I just wanted to show you here this is my um, my uh, air pressure bus for my steam engines uh, I have the regulator here that's a Harbor Freight version uh, and then a, a gauge there and uh, I've got two takeoffs with uh, a quarter turn brass valves and then I got a high pressure here like for blowing um, you know using compressed air to blow things or fill tires up uh, I was thinking about how to pipe this, and I just piped this. This is the same stuff that, um, actually, this is part of a kit. This is a um, um, refrigerator ice maker kit. And so this is a, a type of plastic piping. Um, and I just tied it all together there, and uh, it was a little bit short, um, so I had to extend it. But this is the bus, and I want to show you the compressor system that I've created as well. So this is a tank. This is, you know, just a tank you fill up. And, uh, and with compressed air and uh, you can like carry it around but I've just got it mounted and then uh, right over here you can see where that this is a takeoff pressure that uh, provides pressure to the two connectors I've seen I showed you and then uh, over here uh, this is the pressure going into the tank and uh, I, I put an angle on it just so it wouldn't stick out and carried it over and uh, there's a T here so we follow the T up, and there's the uh, pressure regulator to shut off the uh, compressor. And here I have a, a compressor, this is out of refrigerator. And what's so neat about this uh, compressor is it's pretty quiet, you know. Um, it's not fast, but uh, when you're playing with steam engines, it's kind of nice not to have the big old loud compressor to kick in. Um, so the whole point about this is just to be really, really quiet. And then now uh, the other side of the T goes down here and then it ties into the uh, portable tank and I've got the quick disconnect and you can pull this out and it's still portable so if you needed to take it somewhere nothing's changed down here but a side effect is is that the little compressor when it's charging up it fills up that tank there and it fills up this tank as well and I leave the system all the time and there's on all the time and there's no leaks so I'm really happy with that and then you know I've got the extension hose and this is all down in the corner an area we don't get to a whole lot but anyways I just wanted to show you guys my cool compressor system 
So let's go see how well we got that flywheel centered. Down in the comment section, you'll see a link to purchase this engine right at eBay. Right. So I'm not going to finish this flywheel. I'm going to leave that up to the buyer to do that. This is just going to be the rough casting. Thanks for watching.